Musical Journeys from Innocence to War by Ravel, Desner, and Stravinsky highlight this CSO program led by Essa Pekka Salonen. Maurice Ravel based his Mother Goose Suite on the timeless stories of 17th century writer Charles Perrault. Modest in stature, Ravel had a way with kids, and he enjoyed fairy tales and elaborate mechanical toys. He composed this suite as a piano duet for Jean and Mimi Godebski, the children of a Polish couple who hosted regular soirees at their Paris apartment. The tales of Sleeping Beauty, Tom Thumb, and others allowed Ravel to pursue a simpler, more refined style. And when he orchestrated the suite a year later, he added many colorful sounds. Some of them suggest a Javanese gamelan that he heard at the Paris exhibition of 1889. Bryce Dessner's violin concerto was inspired by the pilgrimage to Santiago de Compostela, the ancient route through northern Spain. Dessner came to this subject after reading The Anthropology of Water, an essay by Anne Carson about a young woman's experiences along the journey. Dessner is the guitarist and founding member of the rock band The National. He says, something about the practice of composing for orchestra and writing a violin concerto felt at times like a musical analog to this pilgrimage. The three-movement score features nods to the coastal route, including wave-like gestures in the orchestra. Our soloist is the work's dedicatee, Finnish violinist Pekka Kuzisto. Igor Stravinsky composed his Symphony in Three Movements from 1942 to 45. It was inspired by the newsreel and documentary footage he saw of the events of World War II. The first movement features heavy, slashing figures evoking the scorched earth tactics in China and images of people working their fields. For the delicate slow movement, Stravinsky departs from the war theme and repurposes some discarded film music meant for a 1943 picture, The Song of Bernadette. The third movement, with its square march beat, was Stravinsky's response to footage of goose-stepping German soldiers. But a climactic fugue suggests the rise of the Allies and its optimistic tone builds to a final exuberant chord. ¶¶ 